Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by my two friends Noah Hello. and Corey. Hello. Where are you guys from? I'm from England. What, what, where exactly? In the West Country. Is that West Country? No. It's oh, west of here, so it's West Country. Okay, yeah. And you're from North Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> That's very North. Uh, and I'm from America. Recently a New York Times quiz has come out that all my British friends have been raving about because it's able to accurately detect where in the UK or Ireland you are from just by some slang. I have not taken this quiz yet, but there is a section here that says, I wasn't raised there, but I want to play anyway, and that's me. So basically I'm going to be using this quiz to find where I should be living in the UK, in Ireland, based on my accents. Where do you guys guess beforehand, just out of curiosity? London. London. Oh, that's nice. What <laughs> where else would it be? I think it would be Ireland, because Irish and American have very similar slangs, I think. I'm hoping so. that it gets you guys right. I feel like it's going to be easy to do Scotland, just personally. I feel like people from Glasgow secretly are just Waluigi, because they're Glaswegian. <laughs> I don't know what I was going for with that. I didn't... The joke didn't even formulate. <laughs> Glass of Ouija. So the first question is, what do you call a small gray bug that curls up into a ball when it's touched? A slater. A what? <laughs> a band? He's a funny guy. <laughs> Slaters. Woodlouse. I mean, I've heard of woodlouse. Uh, I've heard of pill bug. Is slater? Oh, slater is an option slater. on here. Is that the scientific name? What do you think I? What do you <laughs> think that I've called this in, as an American? Woodlouse. Roly polies. Roly poly. Yeah. Honestly, so American. it sounds like a joke, but that is 100% a roly-poly. You see it as a kid, you're like, oh, it's a roly-poly, such as the TV show roly poly Oli. That's basically That's a roly robot. Roly mode. How do you pronounce the words right on the screen there? Do they rhyme or do they not rhyme? Door poor. and poor. Door and poor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. You tried so hard to say it like chill, like, and pure. <laughs> door and poor. Why do you say them the same? Door and poor. Door and poor. Poor. Like, you so poor. we're about the same. Yeah. You say poor? Poor. poor. That's you... someone that poops. <laughs> He's a poor. How do you pronounce the words full and fool? Fool and fool? <laughs> so they pronounce the same for you, or is there... Full and fool. Yeah, like, don't be a fool. They're different. Full up. Yeah, they're different. Fill it. Fool and fool. No, they're not different. They're the same word. I didn't expect you guys to disagree with me on that one. Uh, which of these words, if any, would you use for a young person characterized by brash, loudish behavior, and often low social status? Chav. Ned. Ned? <laughs> Ned Flanders? <laughs> Oakley <laughs> Oakley, I'm gonna cause some ruckus. Non-educated delinquent. Ned. No, no. Ned. Yeah. Is that a real thing? It's an actual thing. I think Chav is council house and violent. Yeah, I've that's, heard, kind of that's a bit classist. Yeah, I know, I know. Jeez, Noah, coming yeah. from the West. I know of scumbag. I feel like I would, that's a pretty like derogatory word. Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, he's a bit of a delinquent. What a scumbag. <laughs> I don't know what half of these are, but I feel like now that I've come to live here, I do use the word chav. Yeah. So I'm going to have to go with chav, even though it's not an American word, but really? townie. <laughs> that's, I know what yab is. I know what scally is. Scallywag. Like scallywag, yeah. Yeah, okay, My I'm going to go with chav. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit brutish. How do you pronounce? That's the debate. I mean, you're gonna say the wrong thing, so <laughs> just scone. It rhymes Sco with bone. Scone. 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 No. scone. scone. You're wrong. But yeah. It's cute. Bone. Scone. I have, as an American, have always said scone, even though our scones are basically muffins. You have well, scones? No. We have they're triangles, scone. and they taste so sweet. They're like sugary blueberry muffins in taste and consistency, not like a. Scott. What do you call a person that gets a ride on the back of someone else's Child? bicycle? I don't call no, it anything. No, no. What, do you, what do you call it when a person gets a ride on the Oh, them? okay. I don't call it anything. I don't call it anything. Uh, backies. Backies? Yeah. Like you tobacco. Oh, because no. you're on the back. Because <laughs> you're on backies. Yeah, so you got like stunt pegs. Oh. And like you ride on the back. You stand on the stunt pegs. And you get someone on the front as well. Were you a backie? No. <laughs> no I had my own front seat. My friend's back. Front seat. <laughs> Top or bottom. No seat. <laughs> Piggyback. Mm, I think that might have to be mine. I'll be the house elf. I'm gonna go with I have no word for this, honestly. What do you call the evening meal? Tea. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, because I went to a boarding school and I started calling it supper. Ooh. They called it supper no, then. We all have a different one. Supper's... No, I call it dinner now. Dinner's Come the middle on. of the day. So you've changed. You've dinner's changed. lunch? Yeah. What? Or dinner's if you go out no. for dinner. You can either go out for dinner or you can have dinner, which is lunch. That's so crazy. <laughs> I don't like that you call tea, which is a drink, also food. Because if someone says, do you want tea, I want a drink. A drink. Yeah, but like if someone's inviting you Ryan for tea, you know when they're inviting you Ryan for tea. Well, I assume there's going to be rock cakes. All right, Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> I meant seed cakes, which is from The Hobbit. <laughs> I chose the wrong universe. <laughs> I'm going to choose dinner. My family did say supper for a lot of times because my mom grew up in Georgia and they say supper there, but I personally say Which dinner. of these words, if any, would you use for a l piece of long cushion furniture in the main room of a house? Sofa. Uh, settee. 
A satay? A satay. A satay? Wait, you say satay, not satay? Satay. Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but it's French, so satay. Satay. My mom always says satay, and I've always called it a satay. I love satay. I'm just very French. I'm sorry, people call it a Chesterfield. That's super British. Chesterfield. The Chesterfield. It's a long cushion piece of furniture, so personally I call that a couch. I understand when people say, wait, do you guys not say couch? No, why is, couch, it, why is it couch only because it's long? Yeah, it's a long one, so it's a couch. If it's just short, then it'd be like an armchair, an armchair or a lounge chair or an easy chair. Oh, do you not call it a sofa at all? I, it's a synonym. Germans call it sofa, but I always go, oh, that's because it's like a couch. Sofa, couch, or settee. Or sweet. So a se- sweet a settee for me is literally just a, like a stool that's long. A long no. stool. No, they, they all mean the same thing. Interesting. I'm just going to go with couch. I hope they are able to find out where I'm from. What is your name for the playground game in which one child chases the rest and anyone who is touched becomes the pursuer? We've talked about this. I know what you call it. It's Tig. I mean, it's I say tag. Though, I don't know why it's you would say tig. <laughs> it's it. It's not it. It, Tig, not tag. It. Also, chasing is just really <laughs> unimaginable. <That's laughs> oh, we just American. called it chasing in my no, family. <laughs> we used to, did you ever play kissy kissy catches? No. No. <laughs> 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 no. It's Tig, but when you get them, you have to kiss them. That sounds a bit This like sounds really adorable, consensual. but also possibly not. Yeah. <laughs> you chase them and then force yourself on them with it a kiss. A, it was a different time. It's a game. By pl- All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to choose Tag because I am a normal American. Uh, catch is a completely different game. I want everyone to know. I don't know who would say Catch for Tag. Who plays Catch? It's just throwing a ball. You and your dad, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know my dad, Evan. Yeah. I don't either anymore. What do you call a sweetened carbonated beverage? I know this because you guys always say fizzy drink. Yeah. Yeah. That annoys or me. Or fizzy juice, actually. No! <laughs> I refuse fizzy to accept juice. that you call it fizzy juice. It's fizzy juice. Yeah. Was it squeezed out of a fruit? <laughs> There's like a Coca-Cola machine <laughs> like fruit. You gotta squeeze it? Why? I've never heard of fizzy juice. That sounds like fuzzy juice to me now. All friendly. these things I thought were normal. I come down here and I'm just weird. I, I know what pop is because that's like a Northern American thing like up in the Wisconsin area, but it's soda. Oh, I know a lot of people that say Coke for every soda as well. Oh yeah, that's weird. That's like, is that not like middle America? Yeah, I th- it's mostly at yeah. middle. They like, oh, all those Coke. And it's like, that's an orange soda, sir. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> Listen, I'm a polite person, okay? I say sir and madame. Which of these words, if any, would you use for a baby? I can guess yours. Because it's gonna be barren. It's barren, yeah. Why? Right. Barren with me what? here, but they speak weird why, up there. Why barren? Barren. It means it's baby. like a little baby barren. Like a baby. I learned that from Liam Dryden. A or baby just a born baby born. Baby <laughs> born. Baby <laughs> born. <laughs> yep. Baby barren. Baby barren. Or um... <laughs> I just know baby. Glaswegian baby. Oh, baby. Baby. No, we baby. say use well a little baby. Yeah. Ooh. That's if you're taking the piss. Who's yeah. a little baby? Little sprog. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Pokemon. I think my mom says that. Babe. Wean is like Nipper. very Glaswegian. Oh, sorry. Do you not say Wean? Wean. That's, That's very Glaswegian. Okay, well, I personally just say baby. Is that an option? There's no option for baby. Submit your own. What I love about this is that it insinuates <laughs> that no one in Britain calls, calls a baby, baby a baby. I call babies babies. <laughs> How do you pronounce the words but and put? Oh. <laughs> but and put. Yay! Yeah, they but do not put. rhyme. Where would it rhyme? In Irish. But and put. Irish people. Or put and boot. <laughs> 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 They yeah. rhyme. Uh, wait, whoa, they Irish don't. people. But, put. Put, put. Put that on my butt. Is <laughs> that <laughs> the best Irish? Right. <laughs> Try my best. How do you refer to your mother, Corey? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> In Scotland, we say, ah, yeah, we. Who left the shit? <laughs> Which one of you doesn't know how to flush the toilet? Who left the shit? <laughs> I can't remember the memes, man. I misquote vines. <laughs> Country boy. Hi, Chili's. Welcome. <laughs> so how do you refer to your mother? Meh. <laughs> Old lady. <laughs> you can get slapped. I, mom. Old dear. I to... If I call my mom old dear, she'd cry. I, I to refer to my mom as mom. My mom used to say she was my Trigger. sister. Scottish. Yeah. No. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is my sister. Are you doing mum? Yeah. Sometimes I say mum now. I have switched sometimes when I'm talking to British people and it annoys me because I'm like, that was my first word. I shouldn't be changing it. Mm. You do say some stuff and like some of it comes out English. Water. You oh, I say literally. You don't notice as well sometimes. No. Which of these words, if any, would you use for feeling unwell? <coughs> like you right now. Crap. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, yeah. yeah. Under the weather. Rough. Oh, you can select multiple options? Yeah. yeah. To be totally honest, all of these mean hungover. Off color? Yeah. Like if I'm feeling rough, I'm feeling hungover. If I'm feeling crap, I'm hungover. Poorly. Yeah. Honestly, poorly is the most British expression that I've adopted. Whenever I say, mm-hmm. oh, I'm a bit poorly today, I'm like, oh, yeah. Citizenship card coming soon. I've never heard of peaky. Peaky. Oh, you're looking a bit peaky. Mrs. Weasley would say it to Harry all the time. How do you refer to your grandmother? She's I dead. say, yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> I usually give her flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Walk away. 
<laughs> How about you? <laughs> nani or nan? Nani. Nani. Yeah. Nani. Yeah. nani. Speak what? Japanese. It's crazy. Nani. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I called my grandma grandma. My option also isn't here if you've ever heard of this, but Mom 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 I called mom mom. You pronounce all the M's. Well, yeah. Mom 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 mom. mom, mom. No, I, I, mom. <laughs> Wait, do you say Graham? No. Is she that light? That's, that's, American. that's American. Graham? Like Grammy, yeah. Yeah, Grammy, but not Graham. I don't know. I don't know. Do it for the gram. A nanny is someone who takes care of you like a babysitter, not your grandma in America. What do you call the smell? 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 <laughs> How do you pronounce smell? <laughs> what do you call a small, round piece of baked yeast dough? Bread. I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> oh, they have dough. wraps and barms I mean, like, and rolls. batches and softies and tea cakes. Where's Hope? Bun. I chose bread roll. I'm assuming you guys chose bap and barp. You can only choose one option, so yeah. bap. Barp? There was barp. Barp. Barp? Barb Simpson. Let's go hot fudge. Barb. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's yarp. 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 How do you pronounce the words horse and horse? They sound the same. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty good. Do you say horse? Horse and horse. Horse. Wait, do you say horse? No, horse and horse. Grab my horse. Oh, wait, no. they sound... They sound different. Horse and horse. As in they the animal and I'm feeling horse. Yeah, you're saying it differently. Yeah, they are different. Horse and horse. It's so subtle, but I can tell. Yeah. They're the just horse and horse. Horse Good. and horse. <laughs> it sounds like you're trying to be a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Saddle up my horse. As you pronounce them, do the words farm and palm rhyme? Farm yes. and palm. Farm and palm. Ah! Uh, wait, what? Farm and palm? Farm and palm. Farm and palm. Are you changing for me? No, that's weird. Farm. Palm. Farm. Why did you press the L and palm? Palm. Yeah, you do. Palm. Yeah, like palm side. I say almond. You say almond. Almond. How do you say almond? Almond. Oh, uh, you're an almond all. But almond. yeah, wait. Farm, palm. I definitely pronounce them differently. Palm. There's an L there, okay? <laughs> I like to pronounce my L's. Which of these words, if any, would you use to vary running water smaller than a river? Well, this is easy. A dike. St wow. <laughs> you, That's inconsiderate. You freaking turf. <laughs> turf? Is it right Stop word? using no. words you don't understand. Dang, I'm trying to get in here. <laughs> or a burn. A burn? Yeah. Is that a burn? Why a burn? I would call it's it... It's a burn. Or a, or a creek. Okay, my option isn't in here, and I'm a bit annoyed about it. A crick. Thank you. Crick. I think that's very, very localized to where I'm from. Can you select multiple options? Oh, choose all that apply. Mm. So I say crick, I say creek, I say stream and brook. Rivulet. Where's tributary? What? Mom, the tributary. Uh, no, I, a ditch. What are these jokes? What are these, you? <laughs> these aren't jokes. I call it a tributary as well. That's what it is. So yeah, it's right? all basically a crick. If you say crick, please tell me so I'm not the only one in the world that says crick. Thank you. I also say roof as... A different thing to everyone else, supposedly. What? Roof? As in the Who's outside? up on the roof? Ah! Uh, how do you pronounce the A sound in last? The mm. last of us. Do you say the last of us? I'm not English. Last. Yeah. Last. Oh, so you're saying lost. Last, yeah. Last. I don't know why I did. So I you my sherry. <laughs> like, more oh, the last of us. <laughs> Darling, fetch me a bath. You sound like Dana Jelly. Oh my, oh oh my god, no. I do. Hello. Oh, Janet Jackson. I love her. <laughs> Gonna bake you cake. I love you, Dan. Next up, which one of these words have anyone used to... <laughs> I says that so fast. Someone you think is stupid. Evan. Thanks. Dummy. Ah. Plank. <laughs> I, they used to, people was used to it? Was it? <laughs> oh, was it? I've never heard of was <laughs> it. Was <laughs> it? I'm sorry. That I thought that was like a wizard term. Why did you put the emphasis on Zock? Zock. <laughs> was Zock. Love the Zock. People in school used to call each other planks. Really? Yeah, thanks. Uh, like Mark Zuckerberg's absolute like plank. Yeah, he plank, yeah. yeah. Really? Melty. Melt. Oh, absolute melt. Absolute melt. That's, That's melt. very British kid, isn't it? That's Scottish, isn't it? No. No, absolute guess. melt. Oh, it's yeah, no, it's like English. I think I've learned that from watching like British mm. kid shows. My mum Egypt calls me Egypt. <laughs> Egypt. Egypt. <laughs> uh, pillock, I've heard of. Pillock. Yeah. No, you <laughs> haven't. Pillock. <laughs> pillock. Oh yes. I've read the word pillock, but I've never heard <laughs> of You still said it. Pillock. How do you pronounce the words food and good? Food and good. Really? Food and good. They sound the same. They, yeah. they are the same. They, they are the same. Food and no, good. No, no. Food, food and good. Good. Food, good. Yeah. Food and good. Food and good. You're the same sound. Food and good. Food. Food. Good. Good and food. Good food. No, they're the good same. Food. Good, good food. Good food. Good food yourself. <laughs> Which of these words would you use for a heavy rainfall? Pissing down. Yeah. Chocking it down. All of these are British. Pissing I've learned down. all these from like going to an office when it's raining. Like absolutely raining cats chocking down out there. Raining cats and dogs. Absolutely. Bucketing is too. Do you actually use raining cats and dogs? Oh yeah, it's raining cats. Oh, and that's dogs. an American thing. Is it? I say chucking it down. Ever since moving here, <laughs> throwing it down. Hell <laughs> it down. There's like a fight out there. <laughs> Which of these words, if any, would you use for a child's soft shoes worn in PE? Plimsolls. I've never heard of that in my life. You ever heard of plimsolls? Plim. 
plimsolls? Yeah, like, they're, is that a brand? Like, they're in the little black ones. It's like, not it's like what Vans are, but oh. less. Yeah. I've, le I've literally never heard of a plimsoll before. That's like a very common thing. That's all you do gym in. Those are your gym shoes. I thought you guys I'm called them tennis shoes. I literally just use sneakers. But you're not sneaking. Mm. I don't understand. I'd also say shoes. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean you'd say shoes? <laughs> what do you, you call your say shoes? Shoes. <laughs> shoes. Well, I call them, they call every shoe a shoe. No, I mean, that's a dumb well, question. Yeah. Why is it there? Well, listen, why wasn't baby there? Because that's all I use. You only use babies? Sand shoes. Yeah, I've heard I don't know. That, I think if you live in like the desert. Oh, yes, in Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> Last question: Which of these words, if any, would you use for not showing up to school or work? Skyving. Skyving. Sk what? Skyving, yeah, skipping, skyving, bitch, that sounds grim. I say oh. playing hooky. That sounds like you're having sex. Is that not what it was? That's what I thought it was. <laughs> playing hooky is when you don't go to school when you're supposed to go to school. You're playing hooky. Don't on the duck. It. Oh, he's on the duck today. No, dog and off is Australian. Really? Yeah. On the hop. I like that. Where's on the twist? Oh, ditching. Nick off on the beak. Wag off. Wag off. That is not nope. taking. That is doing more. <laughs> Skip ditch. Play hooky. All right. Let us see where I am from. I'm excited to see where it's put you guys as well. Woo! Definitely not from around here. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It looks like it's put me in Western Ireland or Birmingham. I'm in the Midlands. They don't even exist. Or Dover. Dover. Oh man. No. Apparently, I'm from Bournemouth. Bournemouth. This is not the truth. You're not from Bournemouth. I mean, like you weren't born in Bournemouth. No, I was. Yeah, hold on. I mean, they're going to pick the exact area of Scotland he's from. Oh, it, it, almost certainly going to pick the exact area of Scotland I'm from. They're going to be like, oh, this Dundee. It, it's literally Dundee. Yeah! <laughs> it got Dundee! Okay, so that's one out of three success rate, and mine was pretty hard for them to guess. Oh, no one in the UK calls it soda. That's no. how they knew I wasn't yeah. here. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed this weird video where I found out that Scottish people pronounce even more things weird than I thought. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a big old thumb, subscribe, make new videos every Sunday. Also, check out Corey's channel and Noah's channel. Why yeah, not? Yolo channel. Swag. Anyway, if you want, you can watch a video that I've covered Noah's face with. That's my recent one. It's all right. Pretty good. A bit political. Anyway, thanks. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.